Hi, my name is Xing Hu, and I'm assistant professor from the Department of Public Health Science, University of Virginia. Um, so um, we conducted a study looking at the early palliative care use among patients with advanced cancer in the U.S. from 2010 to 2020. Um, and also we looked at um, how provider contribute to the variation of early palliative care use. So in the U.S., we have uh, known that early, uh, integration of early palliative care um, has significant clinical benefits for patients in terms of improved quality of life and survival. And studies have shown that patients' uh, clinical characteristics and demographic characteristics are associated with early palliative care use. But what is less known is um, um, the population-based study of the trend of early palliative care use and uh, the provider contribution to uh, this service use. So we use the data called the Sierra Medicare Data Linkage, uh, which is a population-based cancer registry link with the Medicare claims data. So we, um, we extracted a retrospective cohort of patients with advanced metastatic breast cancer, colorectal cancer, prostate cancer, non-small cell lung cancer, small cell lung cancer, and prostate cancer, um, and examined the descriptive trend of uh, any early path of care use. Um, we also use multivariable linear probability model and a physician fixed effect and organizational fixed effect to um, look at how much of this variation in early path of care is attributable to the provider and the organization. And lastly, uh, using the data, we examine association between some of the observable provider characteristics um, and early path of care use. What we found was that um, um, from 2010 to 2019, the overall utilization of, of early palliative care increased from um, just below 2% to over 10%, which is very encouraging. Um, and um, this utilization is relatively lower among patients with a relatively better prognosis, such as prostate cancer, um, but higher among people with poorer prognosis, such as those with uh, pancreatic cancers. Um, and we also found that about 48% of the uh, variation in palliative care use is driven by the provider. And among specific provider characteristics, um, those uh, patients who are treated by um, physicians who are younger, who are female, and who had any palliative care referral in the past year, um, as well as those who are practicing on their organization that also employ hospice and palliative care medicine specialists were significant significantly more likely to receive early palliative care. So these uh, findings suggest that um, intervention to increase the palliative care workforce and also education um, for providers to increase awareness of palliative care may be effective, effective tools to, to promote early palliative care use. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.